Sports Shots now catching up with Aylesbury Flooring Manager George Tomlin after Sunday's no other word but dramatic FA Sunday Cup final win over Burstall Stamford. George, I can't barely get my breath back. You must be absolutely ecstatic. Yeah, I am, and uh, you know it hasn't sunk in yet. It's just everything the way that's just happened there. It's, uh, it's crazy and uh, you know it's not going to sink in just yet it probably won't sink in for another couple of days but um, you know what an achievement for from us we've um, you know we beat a team from London we had a local derby at Leighton Buzzard then we went to Wolverhampton and Redditch beat a team from Sunderland and now beat a team from Leicestershire so little old Ellsbury has dominated the uh, whole of the UK uh, England sorry you can't say you haven't done it the hard way again um, 77 minutes played 1-0 down and you didn't look as though you were going to get that goal back and then within 13 minutes 3-1 up just try and explain the emotion you went through in that last quarter of an hour oh to be honest um, I think that we created more chances than them uh, throughout the game I just knew if we took one uh, you know we'd have the momentum their heads would be down and uh, we could capitalise on that um, you know the, the next 1-0 at half time the next goal in that game for me wins it and uh, thankfully it was us. Yes, we left it late, but you know we had the momentum, like I said. Uh, changed formation, stuck another man up front, so we had a bit more firing power, and um, got the crucial goals. And uh, yeah, early injury, champions. early injury to Jordan Jenkins. You had to go off. Did that disrupt your plan? Yeah, a little bit because JJ is a really important player. JJ is a you know he's a leader, and uh, he's sort of the rock on the, the defence. So obviously, when he goes very early on. Um, you know that slight worry inside you, but you know wingers, the veteran, uh, he, he stepped in and done a good job. Alex sat there first half and we moved him back, and wingers sat in there perfectly. So, you know, it's good to have these reserves uh, on the bench for us that we can bring on and help the team. And uh, it showed out there today. You know, if one man goes, we're going to have someone there to fill the position. A dream for the chairman and the secretary. This is all they wanted. Um, a perfect finale to Aylesbury flooring. I know you've got a couple of finals to go, but this is the one you wanted. And this is for them, I guess. Yeah, this is this is for them. That's definitely for the chairman and uh, chair lady Jane. They put so much effort um, behind the scenes, especially for this weekend. You know, they've booked the hotel. We stayed over on Saturday night, so they booked a hotel for us. They've organised the travel for the fans. Um, you know, I did it for the secretary Pete. You know, he's there on the phone constantly to the FA and the BNB. Uh, week in, week out, getting the answers that we need. Um, but also for the fans, you know, fantastic support today. I don't know what the number on the gate was, but you know, they were, they were noisy pretty much all game. Obviously, it went a bit quiet when we won nil down, but they were still there trying to chant and back us. And uh, you know, they finished the loudest. And also, we won it for the boys. Uh, the boys in the squad today, the boys who unfortunately didn't make the squad, we won it for them because we're a club, we're a family. And uh, it showed out there today, especially when the final whistle went. Um, yeah, it's just. Fantastic for everyone involved, and, and you know we did it for Aylesbury as well because, like I said, we, we've been all those teams in previous rounds who come from sort of bigger plate and bigger cities, and um, you know we've, hopefully we're putting Aylesbury back on the map for football again. You're no matter what happens in future, you'll go down as the first ever Aylesbury <laughs> manager to win the FA Cup. How does that feel? It, like I said, it hasn't sunk in yet. You know, I'm only 24 as well. You know, I'm one of the well. We've got Mitch, who's very young compared to the rest of the boys but I'm one of the youngest in the team and to, to do this at this young age with um, you know the rest of the boys showing you that trust and respect is, is fantastic you can't ask um, for much more than that uh, they've been brilliant they've been brilliant all weekend they've been brilliant all season and uh, to hear that it is a massive achievement and I'm, I'm going to enjoy it the only, the only way you top that is to go on into your career now and win it on a Saturday uh, yeah that'd be nice um, uh, I don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks obviously I just want to get um, finished flooring on a high again. like you said we've got another final next Sunday and we've got a final uh, the weekend after that I think we've got three league games to fit in at some point as well so going to get them out of the way um, and then just have a break for a couple of weeks and then see what happens see what the uh, options are but at the minute just concentrating on Ellsbury flooring and What was it like playing at a League One ground? It will be you know it's a lot of fantastic ground obviously when we first heard about um being Peterborough, you know, the, the, the sort of other options that were thrown out. Uh, there's no disrespect to Peterborough, but obviously Aston Villa, they play uh, the Premier League side a uh, few years, seasons ago, you know, fantastic pitch and everything like that. But no, we've come here, this is an absolutely beautiful stadium, um, you know, a lovely area around as well, you know. So 
to come to a League One stadium, fill a side, fill your fans and win, can't ask for anything more. The pitch is slightly different to the one at Hale Lees. Yeah, just slightly. Obviously, you don't find the Hale Lees boggle out there. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind having that in the living room, to be perfectly honest with you. It's perfect. And uh, it showed we were playing nice football as well. I think um, I think both sides were playing nice. I thought we were playing it slightly better. And, uh, you know, the conditions obviously helped. And it would be nice to have this every week uh, to play on. But, unfortunately, we're not that lucky enough or we're not playing at a high enough standard. But, you know, massive um, place to come to, massive achievement. You know, it's an experience that they're all going to remember uh, for years to come. Well, massive congratulations on much. today. Um, I'll let you go because I know that there'll be several other people wanting to talk to you and yeah. some, some beers to be drunk, I'm sure. Uh, only one or two. <laughs> <laughs>